Recording? Yo, what's going on, guys? My name is Mitchell, okay, Maj Marks, okay, King Marks, okay, the Flying Lotus, okay, Flying Lotus, okay, Maj Marks, they're back with another video featuring Rocco. What's up, buddy? Rocco, what the freak are you looking at this time? So, what is going on, guys? I'm back with another video. Uh, pretty, I gotta start doing my early uploads like I used to back in the day. Not back in the day, but like, I don't know. I thought I was up doing good, uploading it early, but you're gonna figure it out. I'm trying to figure out as I'm figuring out this camera right now. I don't know why it's not letting me. I think I do, right? Something's definitely different. Uh, all right, pretty good. All right, guys, back with the video. Characters that are definitely Latino. This should be pretty interesting because I saw Hie from Yu Yu Hakusho in here and I'm like, I mean, I guess, but it's like, is it though? I don't know. I kind of want to see what exactly he's going to be talking about, but hey, man, let's check this joint out, bro. I don't waste no time to it. Let's get it. I feel like I was chosen to make this video. I'm probably the only person right, that I can think of right chosen. now that is qualified to talk about both of these topics that, because I got to talk that, about Latino coded too, characters yeah. as well. I would make Asian coded characters, Arabic coded characters, like a lot of people were asking me to. However, I'm not a part of those communities. I cannot speak for them. For the ones that I can speak about, I made a lot of people mad with the last video. I'll probably do it again. The first, the most <laughs> obvious big like word, Hispanic like coded characters, guy, has got to be my boy Luffy. <laughs> Man, what did he do to make them niggas that mad? Besides my boy pulling up in the uh, Brazilian uncle fit, there's so much evidence of why Luffy's Brazilian. Besides the fact that Oda already came out and confirmed it himself, Luffy's physical appearance in itself should have been the biggest nod to it. You have the fact that his skin yeah, tone is darker than pretty much everybody else in the show besides Usopp. But as far as proof goes, like I said, Oda himself in the manga came out and listed the nationalities of everyone, and Luffy was Brazilian. A little fun fact, though, that I learned in research for this video is that Brazil is actually one of the first countries to produce rubber majorly. It's like one of the first countries to do it. And if Oda didn't intend for that, then that's just actually crazy. Or he's just an insane genius who knew that was going to happen. And like someday some guy like me would stumble across his information and like be like the Marvel Wojaks whenever they find out their superhero is going to be in their favorite superhero movie type shit. Not only that though, but like outside <laughs> of Japan, Brazil is one of the biggest countries with a Japanese population. So go ahead and go to your Google search bar real quick and look up for me what the number one language spoken in Brazil is. <laughs> This is kind of like one of those so ones that probably isn't true, but everyone just kind of like all hive mindedly believes is true, including myself. I can't prove that Shadow is Mexican, but I can tell you one thing. I always thought that disgusting black creatures get out of my sight. And everyone hey, I ever yo. talk to about this subject always agrees with this. Like whenever I ask a friend, like, yo, if every Sonic character had a race, what would Shadows be? Unanimously is Mexican. That Everybody thinks that it's not like the creators said anything to nod to that or if there was ever a point where somebody agreed with that. I don't know, but it's, it's one of those things we as a culture just unanimously agree on for some reason. Most of the characters on this list have some reason to why they are put on here, but this is one of those characters that I'm just like, yeah, I think so, and all of my comments from the last video thought so too, so I'll go the rest of my life thinking he is, and so will a lot of people, especially people watching this video. But um, here's a Mexican food menu with Shadow on it, which, like, that doesn't prove anything, but, like, okay, hey, so it might prove it to somebody. I don't know why they choose man. Shadow, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> on the topic of Sonic, though, one character that does have a lot of evidence to prove that they are is Rouge, right? When I first started doing research, for this video, I didn't think Rouge was gonna be on this list, but like, Rouge isn't just based off your average bat flying through the sky, you know, she's not man bat, okay? She's based That's off fat. the Honduran bat. That's if you know anything about Honduras, it's, <laughs> it's, a, it's right? quite right. literally in South America, so I don't even wanna have this debate with y'all right now, bro. However, she's actually technically mixed, because not only is she only based off the Honduran bat, she's also based off the ghost bat from Australia. It doesn't really matter, she still makes the cut. There's another girl on here who's actually- uh, Let me make sure this quality's good. Uh, see, see how I messed that up? technically mixed but it doesn't really matter because as long as you got a half you got a representation am i right miles morales <laughs> she's also like the least annoying back well, hey, the least likely to survive her like father that, role model guy who she's known since she was a child shame on you batman i can't even call you my boy no more i'm just disgusted with you yeah, now yeah, aside yeah, from bro. luffy bane is the most obvious character to throw in here bane is That's yet another crazy. mixed person on this list who's actually half white half latino father was like a white dude 
who died in prison in Santa Prisca and basically Bane had to serve out his father's sentence for him, right? Which, I mean, damn, if I had to serve my father's sentence, I'd be breaking backs out here too, boy. I mean, shit, I already am. Uh -huh. Santa hey, Prisca is in a real place, by the way. It's based off Puerto Rico, but like, it's not a real actual place. But his mom is from there, so he's actually mixed, okay? But he's also the biggest W for the Hispanic community. Bane is a big W. I can't lie, when yeah. Bane was white in uh, The Dark Knight Rises, I was like, I was still fucking with it because you can't mess my boy Tom Hardy. I don't even, that's one of the only whitewashing times that I was actually okay with it, all right? Big W is for my boy Bane, okay? Tom I want to see more Bane you representation, all right? I love the Batman. I know there's already the confirmed villain list for that one, but for the third one, can we please? get Bane and an actual Hispanic Bane. I fuck with Tom Hardy, but we need a Hispanic Bane. We need at least one W. If they never do Bane again, just do it right. Okay, Arkham Origins was the best version of Bane. I love that version of Bane. They did him so correctly, so just do that. Matt Reeves, if you need any inspiration, just go play Arkham Origins. That Bane was the biggest W. So Liz Allen actually, to me, is the most easily explainable ones on here. She used to be white back when she was first created for the Spider-Man comics. So most Spider-Man fans accept spectacular Spider-Man is the sole truth of Spider-Man, right? That's all of our favorite versions of Spider-Man. So hey, to me, bro, Liz Allen is always going to be Hispanic uh, because I like that version of Spider-Man the most. Peter Parker will always be this Peter to me. Like, Spectacular Spider-Man is the best show we've ever it gotten, bro, as far as Spider-Man goes. I guess the showrunners were tired of just having the same milk in Peter's uh Peter's roster. They were like, look, Pete, we're looking at your lineup, and you need some sauce in there, my boy. So we're going to take out a couple of these white girls, make a couple of them different colors. Because, like, even in Homecoming, they changed her. In Homecoming, she's black. And, like, Zach can say that both Liz's are perfectly fine as they are. And I actually prefer both both of those lizards to the white lizards, not because I don't like white people or anything like that. It's like, if they change right, twin skin color, I might actually be genuinely upset. Same with Mary Jane. Zendaya as Mary Jane is the stupidest shit ever. They didn't even have the balls to do that either. They were like, no, she's not Mary Jane, she's Michelle. Oh, brother, <laughs> this guy stinks! Liz, I completely agree with. Keep her Latina, and if you can't do that, then go ahead and make her black. But I don't think she needs to be white. She doesn't need to be another white woman in Peter Parker's life. Let's be honest. Peter Parker lives in Ask Queens, New York, and the only people that are white women Come on, bro. also i have a correction to make about my last video two three videos ago right so in that video i said starfire was light skin right she still can be by the way she still can be but i actually was wrong about her not being latin because i googled it george perez which is the creator of starfire actually based starfire off a model in puerto rico so if anything she actually is latin now if you know anything about south america being latin does not mean you can't be black which is an ignorant take i saw a lot in like my comment section about two three videos ago so if you need a reminder that a lot of the Big people on this planet yes, don't know that you can be both hispanic and black go look at my last comment section and it's something that annoys me personally seeing it in comment sections is kind of ignorant to me but hey everybody's not up on game right so the reason i say this though is just to clear the air because a lot of people are upset about that like hey no starfire is actually hispanic you're right starfire is hispanic well technically she's an alien so she really has no race just like a couple of the characters on the last no, video they have no yes. race but yes Starfire and Blackfire are both Latin coded, and I have to correct that because I need to come correct, okay? Y'all be checking me in the comments, give me dukes left and right, bro. The last it's person on this list, I have to say, is one of those ones where I don't have much evidence to prove it. So for the last person, it's actually not just one person, it's actually like three different people because I'm gonna do a quick fire round. Quick fire round of the last three people because they're all kind of like people I can't necessarily prove, but I guess I always kind of knew deep down. So the first person on this quick fire list is actually gonna be unexpected, somebody that you guys would have never seen through 3,000 miles away even though he's definitely in the thumbnail and that is he bro and you yeah. know what's crazy about he the first time i ever saw bro in j stars which if any of y'all play j stars you're an og for the rest of y'all jump for his kids get out of my on, face man. bro only the ogs bro. remember j stars, stars bro but that was the first time i ever saw he i had never watched you before Talk literally the first time i seen him and it was a japanese game about shonen characters but i guess i just got that vibe from him and then even when i watched the show it just made it that much worse because i always got a latino vibe from this dude i can't exactly say what it was that this because I can't necessarily say much. It's like Shadow. Like, I don't really have much evidence. Also, the eye that he has, the Jagan eye, bro. Come on. Oh, that shit was so robbed. This is oh. crazy. Oh. <laughs> He's just too good. Funny enough, though, the person who I always felt was, even though no other form of him is just specifically this one was, I always felt like Super Saiyan 4 Goku was. I always got the vibe that and Goku that's a and GT was Hispanic, like, especially in uh, Super Saiyan 4 form. But I'm, I'm rambling now, I'm tan, rambling. Bro. So I want y'all to tell me your favorite uh, characters that are represented in media, whether it be whatever race you are. Let me know down in the comments. Make sure to like the video, subscribe, all that. And remember that I will always catch y'all in the next one. Peace. Peace. That's tough.
That's tough. Hey, I'm with it, bro. I'm with it, man. I definitely do not disagree with what he's saying, bro. I really don't. Uh, yo, these are good picks. These are actually very good picks. I, I can get down with this. I agree with everything that he just played right here, bro. For sure. I, I bang with it. But that's it for today, guys. I got I got two more videos coming, coming guys this way, so keep a lookout for those. And uh, yeah, got two uploads, maybe three uploads coming today, so keep a lookout for them. So I'll catch you guys in the next video. Guys, let me know who, like, you know, who you think is Latino, light skin, black. What anime character you think represents those races? Let me know in the comments down below, and I'll catch y'all in the next video. We should be in a little bit. Bye, Zeke.